The night Jesus was arrested in the garden to be placed on trial, he is taken from his dear friends that walked with him for three years of ministry. As those close to him fled, Jesus is alone. We can imagine the pain he must have felt. As he is taken to the Sanhedrin, Peter and another disciple follow. And while this other disciple enters the high priest's courtyard, Peter stands outside the gate. Then the maid who was the gatekeeper said to Peter, You are not one of those man's disciples, are you? He said, I am not. Now the slaves and the guards were standing around a charcoal fire that they had made because it was cold and were warming themselves. Peter was also standing there keeping warm. This is the first of three times that Peter, one of those closest to Jesus, denied him. We remember the many times that we also may have rejected those dear to us, or even at times have rejected God and his love for us. The Word of God gives us such a beautiful parallel in order to teach of God's love. Fire represents many things in scripture, such as cleansing, purification, destruction, or an all-consuming love. But this fire that Peter stands near is one of only two places in the Bible where a charcoal fire is mentioned. Peter sank into his sorrow and wept bitterly at what he had done. There was the temptation to despair, to fall away, and really to feel unworthy. Jesus had another plan for Peter, as he does for you and for me. After the resurrection, the disciples were fishing as Jesus appeared on the beach. He had made some fish for breakfast and over the second charcoal fire. There he approached Peter. Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him. Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, feed my lambs. What is lost in the English translation of these passages, which speak of Jesus asking Peter three times, is that Jesus used two separate words for love. The first two times, the Greek word agape, which means an unconditional love, is used. But Peter can only respond with the love of philos, or brotherly love. Peter now knows his limitations and tells Jesus honestly of what he is capable. Then Jesus, in his mercy, comes down to Peter and asks him a final time, Do you philos me? Just as Jesus met Peter where he was, the Lord meets us exactly where we are. He does not ask for more than we are able to do. Let us remember to come to the Lord in honesty, acknowledging our condition to accept his love. Meet the Lord at the charcoal fire for reconciliation, which for many is the confessional, where Jesus asks us, do you love me? And our humble response is yes, with sincerity and humility. That grants us acceptance into his loving arms and tender heart.